So, what exactly is the pathogenesis or what happens in a child's brain, in a child with ADHD, what happens in this child's brain, which part is affected. So, that is very important, isn't it? So, just remember this one term, frontocerebellar circuit. Okay, frontocerebellar circuit. So, this frontocerebellar circuits are affected in ADHD. So, the four main areas which are affected, we are going to see a little bit later. Just remember, this is the circuit. These connections are impaired in a child with ADHD. So, there is reduced connectivity. There is dysfunction. Because of the reduced connectivity, there is dysfunction of the cerebellum and that happens. So, it can be because of an abnormal dopamine signaling or another neurotransmitter, noradrenaline. So, deficiency of noradrenaline in the reticular activating system. These are the four important parts of the brain that are affected in ADHD. So, starting from the prefrontal cortex denoted in pink. So, prefrontal cortex, second will be basal ganglia, third is our limbic system, four is cerebellum. So, the four main brain areas which are affected in ADHD are these four. So, coming to the prefrontal cortex. So, what are the functions of prefrontal cortex? It controls behavior. It controls the emotional response of the child. Basal ganglia will regulate the learning process of the child, cognition of the child. Limbic system, very, very important for two important things, emotions and memory. For cerebellum, we all know it is for posture, balance, speech and coordination. Okay. So, these are the four main areas affected in ADHD. Okay. So, because of the fronto subcortical cerebellar circuit is affected, this results in ADHD. And again, the presentation of ADHD is not similar in each age group. Say, let us say it, it starts like it uh, surfaces and the, or the child starts showing symptoms somewhere between 4 to 6 years of age. So, in this age, that is in the preschool age, this is called as a preschool age. The preschool age, predominantly they will be hyperactive. Parents tell you, doctor, my child does not sit at one place. The child is very impulsive. He just starts throwing something. He just starts doing something, head banging. He, he does everything out of impulse, head banging either on the floor or on the wall. So, hyperactivity and impulsivity will be seen in this age, that is in the preschool. What happens in the school age? School age, what happens is, along with hyperactive impulsivity, there can be inattention. He does not sit in the school properly, he does not listen, he is always inattentive, he forgets his uh, classwork, he forgets his lunch bag, he forgets his school bag. So, inattention. In the age of between 6 to 12 years, what happens? It is a combination of everything. It is like the peak age where every symptom happens. Hyperactivity is there, restlessness is there, impulsivity is there, inattention is there. So, this is a very tough age for the parents uh, of children with ADHD. So, beyond the 12 years, so say in the teenage, what happens? Teenage is predominantly inattention, some amount of restlessness can be there. After the uh, their adults is inattention predominantly. So, what I am trying to convey here is hyperactivity which was present in the preschool years is not present beyond this 12 years. Can you see that? So, uh, hyperactivity, nowhere hyperactivity is there beyond this age. Hyperactivity is present in 3 to 5 years. It can be present as a combination in the school age. But beyond that, it is predominantly inattention. Either inattention or impulsivity. Yes? Can you understand? So, just understand ADHD is not a disease of childhood alone. I told you it is, it is the third most common mental health uh, disorder overall. So, it can present in the preschool age. It can present in the school age. It can present... Uh, in the adolescence, it can present even in adults. So, this is the age-wise presentation. It is very, very useful. Please, please try to understand this slide. Okay. So, again the same thing I have reiterated here. Hyperactivity and impulsivity is present in the preschool age. Right. So, hyperactivity peaks 7 to 8 years. That is in the school age. Between 6 to 12 years, the peak is in the center. It peaks at 8 years and then it declines. Okay. So, it peaks and then declines. So, 6 years, 12 years. 
இன்னா டென்ஷன் இம்பல்சிவிட்டி வில் பர்சஸ் த்ரூ அவுட் இம்பல்சிவிட்டி வில் பி வெரி பீரியாடிக்